<laughs> Thomas, <laughs> with back, my friend, forward slash. With Dan Sheridan. <laughs> with Dan Sheridan. Good morning, We're... Dan. How are you? Good morning, Vanetta. Good morning. Good morning, Tom and Hello, Tony. Dan. Good to see How everybody. How was your Vegas trip? I haven't seen you since Vegas. It was good. Good seeing you out there. I had never been to Vegas, and it was... You had never been to Vegas? I've never no, been there. I called. Get no the way. hell out of here. Get out of here. You've never been to Vegas. Kind of. You What's your man card? I'm sorry. You I'm sorry. Your man card? Man? Wow. But I stayed like five nights. So, you know, I got the... Five, five nights? I got the man card. That's a long time in Vegas. Well, I brought my family out there. Good family place. That's not a, a man. A good family place. Yeah, family place. Family place. They had Italian relatives out there. So we had to visit, you know, we visited them. Uncle, v Uncle Vito. So... Yeah, not a grandpa Vito. <laughs> my friend's cat's name is Vito. Oh, it is. Yeah, Vito Corleone. The <laughs> Good. cat, Vito the cat. Is there anything about his character? The cat's <laughs> he character. He kind of like he'll sleep and he looks like he wants to kill you, like when you're sleeping. But that would pass for that. Yeah. That's yeah. Kind of a... <laughs> so how was the trip? It was nice. I mean, I've never really those Traders Expo. I mean, just the whole thing was nice, and uh, we didn't get at that hotel. We stayed at the Palazzo, but just it's an over-the-top experience. I've never been in hotels bigger than cities, so it's hard to just. The you know, whole with the moving walkways and the shops yeah. and the restaurants. A couple the... times I told my wife, I said, you know, she goes, can you go leave the room and go here or get this for me? I said, you know, honey, I'm getting lost too much. As one of the kids, it's just, it got a hassle after a while. I just, I, I got lost everywhere, but it's a beauty. You know, it doesn't to surprise me. Okay. Tony, well, I'm used to the embassy suites. You know, you got the lobby, you got the, get the I, I, I am, I am like, like, I can understand it if he was like. He's, he's our Scott Connor. He was yeah. ours. I, I can understand if he led some kind of a sheltered life, if he was like an accountant or he was like a consultant here in Chicago. Or who he never, never left Iowa. Who never left the South Side. Okay. <laughs> the fact that he is a traitor for 25 years and he's been around trips and and that was your first trip to vegas i know i feel you're, bad saying it because i know wow I used you're to an see embarrassment the, to the entire I have you're an embarrassment right. to the entire generation i didn't want to mention Tony, you are tearing down walls that we have built hard <laughs> and, <forth for. laughs> and i used to see that but at the, the i'll call now him my the, wife's gonna want to go to vegas with me i, know. I gotta do these things I, wait wait we had relatives it's guys like you that just <laughs> you know, ruin it for the rest I of us <laughs> our father's fathers have built our this for us and you're I'm destroying sorry. it i'm sorry yeah it was i remember all the junk like on fridays tony, or something give him the sand to the beach lecture please <laughs> <laughs> i deserve it go ahead tony <laughs> hey, start with you I don't even know if he, I don't even know. He remembers the junkets. Oh, oh my God. God. I don't even know if you, there's a repair strategy for him. None. I don't think so. None. I think it's too late. But one good news out of it? Oh, okay. please, give us a shine. So my light. son, my son is 20, my ne and nephew's 21. They snuck So they the said, <laughs> well, they went down to the, they want to do sports. They like basketball. So they bet on the, sp oh, the basketball. Oh, the sports book. Yeah. yeah. And naturally, they win the first game. Of course. And then they go, you know. They're good. Free. They're Mom, good. I'm going to take care of you on your gotcha. birthday. I got all these plans. <laughs> I got college. My college. And then they start off. doubling I'm up. I'm so much better at this stuff. How do they make money here? Yeah, <laughs> right. But then at the end, you know, he started getting into it. In the and he goes at the end, he goes, you know, Dad, I'm more determined to learn options. He did say that. He said, you know what? There's and then no. He asked for a fifty or a hundred. <laughs> yeah. And then he asked for more money. What do you think, yeah. black bread? But well, one more bet. Yeah. But it was interesting seeing those guys go. I'm going to get them tonight. I want to get them tonight. Dad, I want to learn options, and you are the greatest dad. No, no. In the world. <laughs> Have you lost weight? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Since when do you want to learn options? Yeah. Hey, why don't you and mom just take the night off? That's okay. right. Yeah. yeah. I, I... Yeah. <laughs> All right, Dan. We're, well, we missed our, um, we didn't miss, but we just, we wanted to do a new segment today. So we didn't get a chance to do what we call forward slash, which oh. is the reason we call it forward slash is because the symbology for futures that we use yeah. is a forward slash before before the future. So sure. the root, okay. no, the, yeah. the, the root, we just use a forward slash. Yeah. And we try to keep the symbology um, consistent so that people, you know, understand the difference between futures and options and right. blah, blah, blah. In fact, Tony, I found out something interesting this morning because yesterday afternoon, my computer froze up when I was trying to do that pairs trade. Yes. And, and I was, like, I was I, having issues also. I couldn't trade that future option on my platform. And I called in this morning and I talked to some of the, um, talked to the trade desk. Yeah. And I said, what's going on? And they go, here's, we built a protective measure into the software. If an option in the futures market has never traded, Okay, oh. all day, we won't trade it. Right, so you have to call up to execute. So, so that way you can't, like, sell something that's completely liquid that's away from or the market. Or buy something oh, that's neat. completely yeah. liquid. That's so it's, it's actually, I, I guess it's smart. I mean, I wish I didn't have it. 
<laughs> right, right, right. Yeah. right. Yeah. But I you could turn that are? commissioning off. Yeah. I, I could do it myself, right? I got gotcha. you. They don't remember who I am, right? <laughs> oh, no, they do not. <laughs> it's, 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 oh, it's, oh, no, what have you do. done for me lately? Oh, no. <laughs> yeah, you're only as good as your last trade. Absolutely. Just remember that. Oh. Yeah, yeah, they have a very short memories. Mm -hmm. <laughs> hey, um, uh, so let's talk a little bit about this is this is a segment where we talk about what happened overnight sure and kind of what we're looking for going into um, this expiration cycle sure um, we've had a nice rally yesterday was the first sell-off we're trading at 1407 in the s and P's we reversed yesterday from about 1423 um, we got as low as 1402 last night that's about a percent and a half from high to low um, I think there's going to be some decent, hopefully some decent support up around that 1400 level, either 1398 to 1402. And the only reason I say that, Dan, is because I want really good trade. Right. And we're, we're seeing very thin markets right now. And one of the reasons I think is we may have got ahead of ourselves. Mm -hmm. you know, that's a pretty good rally. We've only had one down until yesterday. We only had one down day in about three weeks. Yeah, we're due. So, yeah. so a little bit of a down move here would, would kind of be healthy. What is your, what's your, I, I don't know if you had a chance to watch all the overnight markets, but what's kind of your outlook on the markets for the next, um, let's call it through December expiration, which is uh, two weeks from Friday? Yeah, I, I think, like you said, I think, you know, I mean, I look from a five month thing, we've been what, 1350, 1450 yeah. for five months. And so here with the, you know, I expect a, a, a little more jerking back and forth, which I, hope just because maybe this fiscal cliff stuff gets people a little more movement in the market which would be good for traders because we've had a pretty narrow range but um i think the vix can continue to uh stay in a very narrow range here i look at very slightly range bound nothing crazy so you you know maybe I don't know, 1380, 1430. I mean, but something. But your point is 1350, 1450. Here we are at just say 1400. I'm rounding yeah. all the numbers. We're mid price. Mid price. We're mid price. So it's not a big one way or the other. And, you know, I, I don't expect VIX to go. You know, some people are looking for this catastrophic or whatever. Well, here's what I understand. If you have, a, like, like, this whole, the, the whole discussion about a fiscal cliff, I just, I don't even know what it means. I well, it means Obama and Boehner <laughs> aren't taking their Christmas photo together. Okay. Yeah. It, means, it means a lot of companies are are doing some special dividends some and special even dividends. squishing a lot of their dividends into this year. Oracle yesterday yeah, 18 cents out of you. 18 cents out of you. Hostess had a fiscal cliff. That's correct. <laughs> That's correct. That's a fiscal cliff to me. Right. When you shut down and you go and you're bankrupt gone. Right. and you're you go gone. Bye -bye. Okay. Right. And 15,000 or 18,000 18, people, people lose their jobs. That's, That's a fiscal cliff. And you are stockpiling right. mohos like no, there's no tomorrow. That's a fiscal cliff. That's we're right. not closing for business. Right. Okay. The, 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 we're not. We're not shutting down the U.S. economy. The government's still open. Okay. Yeah. The we're, we're, still running. we're remaining well, open for business. The government's been bankrupt before. Us, be fine. Knows how to get out of that. We are. This is not. Host, my, my only point is, we, we can lose a Twinkie. But we're not shutting down everything else. A pinky, did you say, or a Twinkie? <laughs> we can lose a pinky or a Twinkie. But everything else is not getting, we're not stopping the world, okay? Stop well, the and world. And is there really, I mean, you know, when people say, you know, if there's any validity to fiscal cliff, which I don't think there is, you know, would we be, would we be stinking trading at a VIX of 17 or 18 if there was any, if anybody felt more than... A yawn. Not, not that it can't move, it's not but an or sixteen or fifteen. Yeah. I mean, it's. I think it's more of. I'll just say this about the hostess. The only thing I disagree. I'm more. It is a fiscal cliff when it's eighteen thousand jobs. But for me, growing up on ho and, you know, I don't think there were many lunches when I was in high school or grammar school that I did not have either a ding dong or a yo. What are those? The, the yodels. The Twinkie. Or the devil dogs. And I mean, those tastes stay with you. <laughs> I'm not going to compare it to like well, an Italian beef or something. It's kind of like the those purity the of Vegas before you <laughs> yeah. ruined it for us. <laughs> <laughs> the purity of it. But I mean, those tastes, you see, you're young. It's kind yeah. of not like the kale chips that little Vinny's getting today. Oh, <laughs> no, it's oh. not. <laughs> the dried kale chips at his lunch. Oh, no, yeah. he was having a little salted caramel something something last night. He's but was just he having a, like a kale chip? <laughs> yeah. But those were addicting. Those were sure. addict. I mean, we would barter those things in high oh, school. Oh, sure. Ding dongs for. Ho, ho, you know all that little stuff. A so, famous Seinfeld episode with the Drake's coffee cake and bartering it. I mean, you know that's <laughs> that was life. Yeah. yeah, correct. But but again, I just I want to go back to kind of the 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 big discussion here, which which is, and you brought up the most interesting point. Markets are predictive, and we say it all the time here. They're predictive and they're anticipatory. Yeah. You wouldn't have a fifteen vix going into triple witching or whatever if there was some if there was 
truly something out there. What you have to do is you have to just recognize that, that hey, you know what? I'm not saying that they're not, I'm not saying that you can't have movement. Yes. But markets just aren't, they're priced efficiently. Okay, Period. if the spread's mm. three points, the game is usually not 30 points. Right. That's it. What was the spread last night, Tony, in the game? Do you know? I do not. Oh, the Redskins, Giants, Giants? The Giants played the Redskins last night on Monday Night Football. Did okay. you watch any of it? I did. No. I watched, watched it was a little bit. Good job out of RG3. First time the, the Redskins have beaten the Giants on Monday night since okay. LT broke Theismann's leg. The kid's only thrown four interceptions. He's a rookie. Okay. I yeah. mean, that's pretty that good. Is pretty the kid's good. Yeah. No question about it. But yeah. I'm watching the game last night. I don't know what the spread the, was, though. The line was the, the two and a half. I was right. And the Redskins were two and a half point dogs at home. Hmm. And home team dog Monday night never faded. Okay, well, because they, had a, ten game, they had a ten game, a ten game, a ten home game losing streak. The Redskins. But my my, my takeaway <laughs> from this whole thing is the game. The game was a two and a half point spread. Yeah, it turned out to be a one point game. Mm -hmm. Okay, they don't. They good. They're good. They're good. They're good. <laughs> good. <laughs> that boy good. Because if, if you told me the line was two and a half, you want to make it wider or or fatter, and I would say, uh, -uh I don't yeah. want to touch it. Yeah, the game. <laughs> no the game idea. was. It was a two and a half point spread. Okay, now now. My point again is, it, essentially, we're making by by trading implied volatility now and making it one of our biggest um, biggest derivative products out there, That's our right. most actively traded derivative price. There's a legit market out there, tremendously. And, and yeah. it says that it says that implied volatility right now is trading right at around an historical norm. There is zero premium in there. Right. I mean, okay. at halftime, it was 13 to 10. It's like, you know, you could have, with a two-and-a-half uh, point-wide line, you could have said at halftime, do you want to reverse your bet? Because you could have. I mean, you know what but I mean? Here's my thing. Here's my thing. So in the world of I – hate to, I hate to make it seem like sports is better than better than finance. It, well, it is. But if you listen <laughs> – if, if you listen the, to – The tight ends are tighter. Mm -hmm. That's for sure. Mm -hmm. if, you, if you listen to sports radio yesterday, not a single person talking about the game last night – was saying that they were saying, you know what, it's going to be a close game. You know what, the line's only two and a half. Who do you like? Mm -hmm. So some were taking the Giants, some were taking Washington, which makes sense. But everyone was talking about how close the game was going to be. Now, if the spread was 14, they would have all been talking about what a blowout is. So they were respecting the numbers. You said it. They're respecting the numbers. In financial media, all we're talking about is the end of the world. Yeah. But the numbers don't say that. The right. numbers say it's a non-event. Why aren't they talking about, hey, I want one person to come up and say, hey, you know what? Volatility is only volatility is only 15 percent. 16 and a half, yeah. Or well, whatever. But but the actual future is trading in the 15 handle. So so volatility is trading at a historical norm. What? Why are you even thinking about this? Heck, I was on the 14, 16 call spread in the VIX. I couldn't even get a dollar ten for it. I saw it at a dollar seven. I Isn't mean, it something? Isn't but, it amazing? But hey, I, it, what's the point, Tony? My, my, yeah. It's out there. The information's out there. Just the the real markets are there. Why are we talking about this? Right. Okay, why are we talking about something when you can trade it? And you know, you think your house is worth a million dollars, but it's trading for three hundred thousand. That's a, yeah. That's what it's worth. Well, and I think the people who, you know, as far as the media or whatever, if they're if you're not looking at the numbers, you, you can understand. Okay, the fiscal clip, and this is going to happen in the next three weeks. But you're right; they're not. The numbers aren't there. It's just like saying on the game last night, I think Washington's going to win by thirty. Well, what are you basing that on? You know, I mean, that's my the information, right? right. That's and that's point. the thing with this. Yeah, I, I agree with you. I mean, the market is not, it's saying, you know what, we may be a little range bound over the next week or two. You know, it's amazing to me that people want to go eliminate high frequency trading to go back to the world of wider markets because they think it presents deeper liquidity and they don't understand one thing about what they're talking about because effectively the more participants the tighter the markets that's exactly what you want and there's an indicator out there right now that's saying it's not event so it's not event mm -hmm. that's it you can mm -hmm. trade it if you think it's an event go ahead <laughs> right if you think this is a huge event then the the then you can make a fortune off it yes you oh could. what did i say with the low volatilities and stuff Come on. I mean, there's a ton you, you could do. If you wanted to place that bet, then this you is have a great the perfect environment. storm for you. Right? Yeah. I mean, if you're For the geniuses looking, out there, yeah. Yeah. Tony, um, one thing that jumps, two things that markets jump out. One is that um, crude 87.70, you talk about that all the time. It has mm -hmm. been a leading indicator. It doesn't look healthy today. But you know what? It was up 137 yesterday and turned around and closed down in the day. It's down 137 this morning. Let's see what happens. Gold also down $24, 20, almost $25 this morning. Wow. Each we, one of those can't find a bit at this point. We've been talking about gold as being a problem child here and, and not something that you want to jump in yet. Now, at these levels, when you get down to that 1680 level, you're, it's way more interesting. At your non-non level? 
Well, only since that's where it's bottomed before. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's it. Looking at some of the other markets, if you're looking for a divergence this morning, and when our, we have a get trading with 22-year-olds, we have a 22-year-old show. And when they come in this morning, Dan, we're going to be talking about potentially selling euro mm. because the euro is up 47 ticks this morning. We're going to be talking about potentially selling euro versus other markets. Okay. Like the Cronin? <laughs> the yeah, you, you will you'll get a kick out of this yesterday goldman sachs came out and said their number one trade for 2013 was to buy the norwegian kroner and to sell the australian dollar it's a number one now, trade idea. How, did they how have long, did they have their christmas trading? party yesterday or something and the guy said you know in 25 years or 30 years of trading dan you, it would be hard for even you to go out and figure out how to do that trade i couldn't do it no, I would need. So, yeah, that's. I can't even remember how what do you the trade the Norwegian was, kroner. Okay. What was the last time you traded the Norwegian kroner? Yeah, I, what would provoke that guy to, to to come up with something like that? You know, it, it is. It's just. It's complete PR. It's it's what I call. It's it's damaging the business integrity wise, and it's a complete. It's all about PR. It's finding one idiot reporter to listen to one idiot analyst to make a statement like that just so they can get capture the name Goldman Sachs analyst says this. It's absolutely insane. Can you say I can't even. I'm, I'm not used to the Krone. What is it again? The Krone. <laughs> the, the, the it's the Norwegian Krone spot spelled with a K. <laughs> it's, it's yeah. yeah. <laughs> N O K is it's Tony's symbol. favorite trading vehicle. I, I, want, <laughs> I want to do a live seminar one day and go, who here is not trading the Kroner? <laughs> What's wrong with you people? Uh, That's, I'd like you to do it a live seminar time. Give a little thing on the, I can't even pronounce the goofy thing. I know. <laughs> all right. So, all good stuff. Dan, any other um, w shots at wisdom you want to fire out here? No, you know, just as I was, as I was reading your, what was it, the cherry? Cherry bomb. And the way, and the train over here, and I was thinking, you know, I've liked, you know, the last, I don't know, three, four months, Facebook, just oh, selling yeah. out of the money puts, mainly because as long as the option volatility is staying over 50, I just thought, you know what, for these 15, 20 delta, uh, you know, I liked it from the probabilities and stuff. I'm just curious, is the Facebook, is the vol, is the vol on those puts, has it gone under 50? Oh, me? yeah, it's about 40, it's about 45 it's right now. It's finally come under. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But that's been like you said, but at this point, you've got to almost... You know, with the meteoric right, you gotta play it from the short side. You we would did think. yesterday. We got. Oh, shorter. you did yesterday. Okay. Yeah. yeah, we actually did something that we. You got it off. I did not. We actually did well because you got greedy for a penny. <laughs> so, for a penny. Uh, no, for a penny. For the penny? Up. <laughs> what do you want? The position of the penny, right? I mean, how many times have you said that? Many. A t yeah, many times we're gonna. <laughs> so we actually yeah. got short yesterday. We bought. You'd like the spread. We bought the 27, 28 call spread, and we sold the thirty calls for a ten cent credit. That's a neat. Yeah. Where was the stock at when you did it? 28. It's 20, 27. You bought, no, 20, it was oh, 28 and change. Right. Well, 20 yeah. and change, you bought the 27, 28. 28 and sold the 30 call spread for a credit. And sold the 30 calls naked for a credit. Oh, I like I like that. I mean, naked calls at 30. It's what's December or? December. Mm -hmm. December. December with a they have a seventy percent they have a thirty percent chance of being in the money, and it's trading for 08. I mean you can put it on if you want to you know for a couple pennies less. <laughs> oh here he goes here he goes. <laughs> no it's like twenty cents away. Is it? Now yeah, let me ask you. Yeah. The other way, genius. Maybe I don't know. Uh, Wait how many cents? Oh, don't be oh, like eight, eight debit as opposed to eight credit. Yes. So it's eighteen. If you seven. had to can get I have some then. No. <laughs> so how many? If you are you going to try to get in today or no, are you? No, he's, no, he's two, I missed it. He's eighteen cents away. Oh, eighteen cents away. Eighteen cents. Okay. Yeah. He's a little greedy. <laughs> okay, he got a little greedy yesterday. He got a little greedy. That happens to us all. Tried Many to make times it works. I mean, I like I like kind of beating him by just a penny or two. It kind of aggravates him a little bit. It's the only way I can get back. Now, let me out. ask you: If you're going to go in and do, you are going in to do your price. Mm -hmm. Let's say you're doing ten times. If when you're not getting for the penny, would you have tried? Maybe do half or something. I was I was doing a show, and oh, while we, when we looked at it on the break, we have about a three or four minute break. It was trading for around. Looked like it was trading for around eleven cents. He put in eleven cents, got a partial fill. He got in before me. He lowered it to ten cents, got a fill. I stayed in at eleven cents. He it. never filled any more at eleven. I never filled any I at eleven. You. I didn't. Lower. I got you. Makes sense. You see that movie? It's yeah. And then, and then the stock. It's a war story. We'll be talking about. <laughs> we'll be talking about that for the next thirty years. I know. I know. I know. When, we're, when we're eighty, we'll be going. Do you remember that time you penny me up? <laughs> I was at eleven. <laughs> I was at eleven. You you sold him at 10 you made 500 bucks okay you remember that how many conversations we had in the pits like stuff like that we'd yeah. we'd accuse guys right next to us you of know of course yeah what you all the time yeah it's 804 we're going to take a 60 second break and come on back with the daily dose thank you dan thanks tom thanks for that thanks thank you thanks,